Our Lord and our God, we are back to say thank you. We are back to magnify your name, to exalt you, to give you all the praise, to give you all the honor, to say thank you so, so very much for ourselves as individuals, as, an, as a nation, our beloved nation, Nigeria, we're here to say thank you for Israel, the Middle East, the nations of the world, we are back to say thank you. Thank you so very much for all that you do and we yet continue to do. Thank you. We come with a prayer, Lord, that you revive your work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask that let there be a rekindling of your fire in every heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask that you speak your peace. You speak your peace to every heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You speak your blessings to every heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We want to say thank you so, so very much that your blessing will continue to receive. Your blessings will not elude us. And we are here to say we are sorry for ways we have not heeded, for ways we have proven um, stubborn to your leadings, to your promptings. Father, we say we are sorry. And we are back to say, show us your mercy continually. Your mercy continually. Your mercy continually. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Exalt your name in our lives. Exalt your name in our activities. Exalt your name in all that we do and say. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let our joy be full. Let your blessings be evident for all to see. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your blessings. Your blessings that cannot be counted. Your blessings that are too numerous for us to count. Yes, our nation, Nigeria, had been on a 10-day strike, protesting hunger, protesting hardship. But again, we are back to say thank you. Because if it had not been for you, the situation could have been worse. If it had not been for you, it would have been in the bush as refugees, stranded, with nothing at all, at all, at all, at all. <laughs> Eating uh, raw animals, raw food. We want to say thank you. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for being there. We we'll bless you. We we'll celebrate you. We we'll magnify you. As we continue, we want to say thank you for continuity. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for being there. We we'll speak your peace to the north, the south, the east, and the west. All round peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the demonstrations that went peacefully. Yes, they were deaths recorded. We want to say thank you because it was not hijacked to such a point that security will be completely out of control. We say thank you. We we'll bless you. We we'll magnify you. We thank you for revival. We thank you for recovery speedy recovery of our nation and the nations of the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are back with thanksgiving for our nation, Nigeria, as a point of contact to the nations of the world. We are saying thank you using our nation as a point of contact because protests are sat quietly like in the Arab world that led to what you call the Arab Strings started small but before you know it it escalated and governments were troubled I want to say that in our nation nigeria I want to say god thank you for taking charge thank you for taking control we are grateful we are grateful we are grateful we are grateful we bring our ships of thanksgiving to say thank you for our nation that is intact thank you for our nation that is standing Thank you for our nation that will not go under and can never go under because you are there shepherding us, watching over us, guiding us, protecting us. I want to say thank you for the youth too. Thank you for protecting them. Yes, lives are lost. We pray for the lives of those that are, are dead. They will continue to rest in peace and we pray for comfort, that God will comfort their families, comfort the nation, comfort as many that are involved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. With a prayer that their death, the blood that have been shed, asking for good governance will never, never go in vain. But as Matthias, we shall speak for good governance. 
It shall speak for a new Nigeria. It shall speak for a bigger and a better tomorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so very much for joining me to say thank you for the protest that has come and gone. Let's tell God thank you for sustenance. Thank you for keeping the north, the south, the east, and the west. Yes, there were crises in some places. We want to say thank you, God, for taking charge that there's no overall breakdown of law and order. Thank you so very much for every one of you that did your best to ensure that the protests were curtailed and carried out peacefully. The Lord bless you all. The Lord keep you. The Lord prosper you. As we continue to seek the unity and peace of our nation, God will hear us and answer us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake. We have a passion for nation building and our nation is uppermost in our hearts as we proceed for Nigeria, Israel, and the nations of the world. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages, such the scriptures, nation building, ministers of the truth. We are on all the other social handles. On YouTube, we have over a thousand videos prepared for you, specially, specially, authored and designed by God himself. Go like, share, subscribe. God bless you richly as you visit our YouTube channel. If you type the name E-D-I-T-H-A-T-A-K-E, Atake, account will pop up. Edit Atake, Church on the Air, Ban of Love Ministries International. Like, share, subscribe. And are you out there, you don't know Jesus? It is my honor to bring to you the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. Allow him into your heart, and you experience the revival we are praying and talking about. You experience a newness of life, a new lease of life will be injected into you through the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How do you do that? So simple. All you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. The minute you say that, that's all your sins are forgiven. Get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. The Bible, B-I-L, is God's word to you. To receive the revival you need, you need to spend time in the word. As you read the word, as you make the word your standard of living, as you apply it to your daily, everyday existence, I assure you that your life and my life can never, will never, never remain the same again. And the individuals therein will transform the families, the families will transform the communities, and the communities, the larger society. Thank you so, so very much. So your choice to follow Christ matters because you set the ball rolling. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This continents of favor and of mercy never leave you. All you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Having said that, like we keep saying, and we say in this clip, get a Bible. Spend time in the world. God, richly, richly, in grace, and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.